Hello students, how are you? Hope you are doing well. Now the question is, when does an inductor act as a conductor in a circuit? Give reason for it. So the question is based on the concept of the working of an inductor with respect to the signal applied. Now the signal can be a DC signal having a frequency of zero or it may be a, an AC signal having a high frequency. So we know that for an inductor, the inductive reactance, the inductive reactance X of L is given by omega L, where omega is the radian frequency. This can be written as 2 pi F into L, where omega is 2 pi F. F is the frequency of the applied signal. Now suppose we apply a DC signal, we apply a DC signal, DC signal looks like this, a constant signal, this is the signal with respect to the time, so it is having a frequency of 0, so when the frequency is 0, the inductive reactance is 0, and when the inductive reactance is 0, it means that this is a kind of a short circuit, this is a kind of a short circuit, so the inductor if we apply a DC signal across it, it behaves as a short circuit and a short circuit means as, an, as a conductor. So we can say that the inductor behaves as a conductor when the applied frequency is 0. That means when we apply the DC signal. Now this particular problem can also be analyzed or interpreted in another way. For example, we know that the EMF across the inductor equation of emf across the inductor is given by e equals to minus l d i by d t now to behave as a conductor it means a short circuit and the short circuit means the voltage across it is zero and the voltage across it is zero because for the applied dc signal the change in current is zero so when the change in current is zero this particular d i becomes zero and we can say that minus l into zero which is equal to zero so we can say that the voltage across the inductor is zero when we apply the DC signal. So for the DC signal, the voltage across the inductor is zero or in other words, we can say that it behaves as conductor. So this is the second explanation of this particular problem, of this question. So I hope you understand the solution. Thank you.